right? He guesses they're in that corner. Oh, hey, there's a guy over here. Hey, buddy. Egg? Do they have dead hard? We'll find out. Wow. Okay. There's a guy following us for some reason. We're gonna look at the room. Let's see. Our fucking hooks are way the fuck over there. That was their last oomph, I believe. Got it. Go get him, zombie. So we got a queen, I'm pretty sure, which means we'll see some people sacrifice themselves for her. Hence that guy was really... So there isn't actually a KD down there. That's why she's running inside. It's because they knew where the KD was, and it wasn't down there. So she, someone told her to go inside because I was likely... I would have had to have broken one of the doors to get out if she dropped the second level. So... Oh, wait. One of the things I don't like is if you have anti-aliasing off. If you have anti-aliasing off, like the zombies, see the outlines in the zombies and the generators look like shit. Wait for her to get to phase two. So there's a guy over here ready to pick her up if I go for this other chick for sure. There he is. About to go to phase two. Definitely have a queen here. They really want her. There she goes. The only one guy doing the gen. Yeah, this is 100% a pre-man. This is a three or four man. I think this might be a three man, just purely based on that one guy pounding the gen in the corner and these other two guys fucking around. No, I take that back, because he came over. So it's 100% a four man. The guy that finished the gen was one guy that wasn't even around here. There she goes. Nice. Make sure you do that again. There you go. Good job, my dude. Mm -hmm. Good job. Wow. We're going to go after this other pallet. We're going to leave her on the ground because he's going to try and heal her immediately. And we might get a free hit on him. She shouldn't be able to pick him up in time, though. wall. Good. So let's see. We want to go over here. See if she has flip-flop. No. Pretty sure we'll make this. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. Gonna double back, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the other guy's pounding a gen right now. She's probably radioing in right now. She moved away from the gen. That's literally what we're trying to keep her from doing. Nice. Good job. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you don't want to do. 
exactly what you don't want to do because it punishes the rest of the survivors is exactly what that guy just literally did. Nothing. It would like the whip wouldn't be so bad. The whip wouldn't be so bad if he's downstairs. DC'd for hatch. We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna wait. Blood. We're gonna break this, we're gonna go back upstairs. Hey zombie, how's it going? Hey buddy. We might have hatch. We'll have to find out. This is gonna be a race to hatch, guys. Ah, he knows where hatch is. That's unfortunate. Pretty sure. This is W Keen. Okay. Yep. <laughs> there was a three man DC. <laughs> and we still got our quest done. Yeah, so all we had to do is basically keep him. He just had to take health. There was no ch Like, all we had to do is wait. This is a four-man, by the way. This is a four-man. All you have to do is literally wait and make sure he doesn't gain distance on the map. Because if he keeps doing the same loop over and over again, it doesn't matter. All we have to do is wait for one fuck-up and then he's done, right? Which is what we did. If I broke a pallet, it would mean I would have lose my bloodlust. And if you don't break pallets, you just wait for bloodlust to stack up and then he's dead. Hmm. So there's our three-man DC, guys. <laughs> Challenge complete. <laughs> Unnerving presence did absolutely nothing for us that entire match. Good. Good. Uh huh. Uh, so that didn't actually register. Pretty good. <laughs> 